Hey, did you get the memo? Today I want to talk to you about something really, really important. Something maybe you didn't know about, something maybe you didn't pay attention to, but once you know this, it's going to make such a huge difference in how you use your technology and how your technology works for you. So stay tuned as I give you a quick overview on the incredible Apple ecosystem and how all of these apps work together in a seamless way, integrating across barriers that you didn't even know were there to make your experience so much better. As you're watching, please don't forget to click the like button below and subscribe to my channel so that you are aware when new videos come out. So let's get started. What is the ecosystem that everyone talks about with Apple? These are the native apps. So we have mail, files, calendar, reminders, clock, contacts, notes. That's seven native apps that I'm gonna focus on, all within the Apple ecosphere. My three favorites, reminders, files, notes. Those are the top three for me. So let's talk about how they work together. When you have a document and you scan it, it can save in files. When you set up a calendar event and you need that document, you can attach it in your calendar so it will be easy to access no matter where you are. When you have a note and you want to be reminded to go see that note or it's notes about something that you have to do on a specific date, you can link that note to reminders and I'll show you how in this video. If you use Apple contacts and you keep a good list of contacts, uh, then those contacts can be integrated in calendar. Maybe you would like to keep track of birthdays. As long as you put it in your contacts and you enable it in Apple Calendar, those birth dates will show up in your calendar. If you have a reminder and you have made a date in the reminder, you can enable it to appear in calendar. So when you're using your calendar, your reminder will pop up on the day that it's supposed to. You can incorporate sounds so that you are alerted in the same way that you use the clock app as an alarm. When the alarm goes off, you hear a sound. Well, you can enable those alert sounds inside calendar and it makes a huge difference. So watch quickly as I just demonstrate a few examples of how these apps work together. Every day I am using my notes app, my calendar app, my reminders app, and I'll show you a few ways I use that. So here is my notes app. It's pretty, uh, pretty big. I use it every day, as I said. I have smart tags, which I go over in another video. Smart tags means that you've tagged certain things with the same word. So in this case, I've tagged different recipes, lunch, so they'll all show up here. And it's um, same thing with dinner recipes. But I also have a folder that is specific to recipes where all the recipes are, um, but it was getting big. So I decided to use smart tags. Now, why am I telling you this? I have this linked to reminders. So if I have a recipe here that, that I wanna make this week, that I'm planning, I'm going to hold on to it and I'm gonna go ahead and open up reminders, open up my menu and go ahead and add it to my menu. And then I've added a recipe for this week for planning. Now. The great thing about reminders and notes, as I said, is they're intertwined. So you'll see the icon on the right side with the notes app icon. If I press that, it goes right back to the actual note. This is great because if you are creating a list and you want to go find the recipe, you have them in all the different drawers. Imagine it like a filing cabinet. This drawer is your recipes. This drawer is your meal planning. And it's all very easy to navigate around. I also have a shopping list. So using my menu planning, I can create my shopping list and I can easily add to my shopping list and it will automatically go to the right place in the list. So let's show you how you do that. I'm gonna add milk. And right now I'm just adding it to the bottom of my list. As soon as I press return, it's going to be put in the proper place, dairy and eggs. Done, and let's go see. And dairy and eggs, there's my milk. When I purchase it, all I do is click it and it's gone. And then next time I want it back, it'll be back. I share this list. You can tell on the very top right here, I share this list so that no matter who's at the store, we can all use the same list. It works a lot better than just creating a shopping list in notes. It's very interactive. So 
that's uh, how I use notes and reminders. Uh, reminders is inside calendar. This is my calendar page showing two dates. And you see the circle, the red circle, that implies that it's not an event I created in calendar. It's actually a reminder. So when I press it, it goes to my reminder and I see I have a bill to pay. Um, I can actually see it in the whole list of reminders uh, like that. And then I can see all of them and I can, I can select the circle to show that I've paid the reminder and it comes back whenever I've set it up. In this case, it comes back every three months. You can set up a series of lists in contacts. When you add a contact, you can specify what list you want it on. So when you can look at your contacts, you can see all contacts at the top, but you can also see lists. I can see all my lists and keep them separate, or I can see everything all at once. Once your contacts are all put in your phone, if you uh, put in all their information, when you get an email, it'll be associated with that contact. If you put their birthday in, it will come up in your calendar. So that's just a uh, touch of what you can do when the apps are integrated, when you use them all, take a few minutes to set up each app for what makes sense for you. I would start with my contacts. The Apple Mail app is quite good. So that's what I got for you. It's a brief overview of everything. Be sure to go and look at the individual videos and tell me what you think. Do you use all of these Apple apps? Do you use only three or two or do you just go with other apps, third-party apps, which don't do. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.